everyone, it's Vember, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I appreciate the time you're taking to see this video. Anyways, if you do like what you guys see today, don't forget to, of course, like the video and su subscribe to my content if you haven't already. Sorry, I can't English. Y'all should know by now by all my videos. Anyway, so today we have another shell challenge. This time it's not from my friend Josh. This is from my good friend Neen Finna Do That. He um, is a really big Twitch streamer. He is known for doing the Bad Sims Club. If you've never seen it before, then you need to hurry and go over to Twitch to go check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's really great. You will not be disappointed. Anyway, so he had this shell, which was due in August. And I thought it was the beginning of August, so I was like rushing to get it done. It turns out it's not due to the middle of August. And I basically windmilled for no reason. The video beforehand, which I'll have at the end of this video, my vet clinic, I did Yin Shell in the same stream. <clears throat> so this stream ended up being like six hours long. It was a thing. I had fun, though, because I really do love streaming. So, of course, you know, if you guys want to catch me live, Twitch is where you need to be. I will also have that linked in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Anyway, so this giant shell. Oh, my God. The headache. I... <laughs> It really was a challenge for me. The shape itself was just really funky, if you can't tell. And the balcony on top that I'm working on right now, it had to stay there. I couldn't get rid of it. So because of how big it is, I knew I couldn't turn it into a house. I suppose I could have turned it maybe into a mansion. But as you guys know, I don't really do that large of builds. If it's more than three bedrooms, it starts to like... I don't know, like, I'll be, like, really amped up to get the build done. And then at a certain point, I'll just start to kind of teeter off. And I didn't want that to happen. Because I'm one of those people where if I don't get the build done right then and there, it's not going to get done. Because if I forget and, like, say, save my game, close it, go do something else, come back to it a couple days later, I forget what I was doing. So I delete the whole build and start all over. <laughs> That's just how I am. I know a lot of people aren't that way, but that's just me. So I knew I had to sit there and get it done. Plus, I was streaming, so I wasn't going to, you know, like, end it and then not finish it. It would have been a disaster. And I felt like I'd already gone pretty far as it is. So there was no going back. Anyway, so, of course, I built this in Newcrest because y'all should know me by now. That's what I do. It's my go-to when it comes to most builds. Unless I have a certain theme, then I go to that world and go ahead and build it there. But anyway, so because it was so big, I couldn't come up with just one thing to do for it. So I went on ahead and decided to turn it into like a library slash cafe. So basically what's going on is that the downstairs is a library. That's what it's going to be. And the very top is going to be like a cafe. And how I got there, I was kind of thinking of like, I don't know if you guys have it, but like Barnes & Noble, I'm sure everybody has, but like half price books, they also do the same thing. Of course, those are stores where you buy books. And I suppose I could try to do that in the sense for, but I wasn't really sure how to go around it. So I figured the cafe library thing would work just fine. I went on ahead and I put... Uh, and the build itself, like when you download it, it's going to say cafe. But I'm pretty sure the Sims are going to like read books and use the computers and stuff too. I'm not sure because I'm not going to lie. This build, I did not play test while I'm recording this voiceover. So I'm going to use it in my personal uh, save file. So I guess I'll let you guys know or I'll edit in there somewhere if it's not playable but as far as I could tell everything loaded up fine when I play tested it enough to kind of get the fish in where the tanks are down there that I'm not sure it was going to look right at the end but once I had the fish in and stuff it's pretty cool unfortunately there's not really a way for the sims to feed the fish <laughs> without like moving stuff around so that probably was a bad idea like the fish are just always gonna die ever so often when I go to the lot that is unfortunate but that's just something I guess we're gonna have to deal with <laughs> I'm so sorry like I just I mean the aesthetic part is really pretty and I really like it but again you know trying to feed the fish I'm not sure how that's going to work anyway so downstairs we've already gotten basically 
um, the library not the library part, because hello, the computer lab part. I went on ahead and made two rooms filled with computers just so that all the Sims that go there will have enough room to do whatever. I personally always need a lot with computers, and I feel like having a cafe that has computers in it is good because my Sims, usually when I first start them out, they don't have a computer at home. And I just think it's a really fun idea for them to go to a cafe to do so and, you know, get some stuff done or whatever, apply for college or whatever we're going to do. I always need community lots in my saves because I'm not someone who really, like, goes to the gallery to get community lots. I forget that I can do that, and I don't really build them that often, although I should probably stop saying that since my past two videos have been community lots. I'm getting better at them, I think, maybe. I don't know. They seem to be working out fine. <clears throat> but anyway, excuse me. I, um, I see, and I lost my train of thought. Anyway, so yeah, community lots. So... <laughs> Now that I'm building them more, I'm making sure to put them in my worlds just so they have something to do. Now I feel like since I got a cafe and a vet done, I probably need to do a restaurant at some point. Anyways, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do or what kind of restaurant I want to make. So be on the lookout for that. That will be uploaded soon, hopefully. And I feel like my landscaping skills have gotten a lot better. So what? I don't know. Um, from my last video, if you guys hadn't seen it, basically I had talked about the debug items that I knew have existed for like the longest time but I never really used them. Well now that I have it unlocked automatically on MC Commander, which is a mod in case you guys didn't know, it's the best mod in the world. You really should get it. If you don't have it, it'll save you a lot of heartache and headaches. And if there's a sim there that you really can't stand and you don't really care to f try to murder them yourselves, you can simply delete them. It's a godsend. <laughs> It's really great. Anyways, so I went on ahead and finished the landscaping up front. I did not really do anything in the back. I thought about putting a parking lot, but the lot I was building on had a sidewalk that went across through it. So I thought it would be funny just to have cars parked there, even though, like, you would think, how would they get there? Drive over the sidewalk to park? Like, it's just weird. And I know everybody's on the whole debate about how Sims 4 doesn't have cars and blah, blah. Me, personally... I don't care if they ever get cars. I like using cars for decoration. That's fine. I mean, I played The Sims 2. Yes, they had cars, but it made sense because there wasn't a lot of sidewalk. Like, you can tell all the lots there, you know, it was just open road. So it made sense. The Sims 4, not so much, but of course, that's just my opinion. Take it or leave it. When it comes to cars for me, I really don't care. You want to impress me? Better skin tones. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Can we at least get the basics here, EA? Hello. Anyways, so <laughs> going back to the bills instead of me over here ranting over whatever. I made sure this time to put bathrooms. I don't talk about it much, but there are plenty of builds, even home builds I've done, that I had to go back in and make a bathroom. Because for some reason, I just don't think that a bathroom is needed. Clearly, we're at a public place. I don't know about y'all's sims, but my sims, every time we go somewhere public, somebody has to pee. Just somebody. I probably should have put toddler toilets in case toddlers were coming, but I can't really remember how, like, where you can take your toddlers to. Because <laughs> I normally don't take my toddlers anywhere. The only places I take my toddlers is going to be, like, Sulani, so they can go to the beach and play. And that's about it. I don't even take them to restaurants because they can't sit at tables, so it's just a problem. Anyways, but I made sure to put bathrooms. So this here is like is the library area that I'm working on. I went on ahead and I put like different kinds of bookcases in little sections just to have something a little bit different. Just because I felt it was weird to keep using the same bookshelf over and over again. I don't know. It was just me. There wasn't much variety. Like, the only way you could change the books in the bookcases is if you change the bookcase color, and I didn't like that. So one section has the couches so the Sims can sit down and read. The middle section has desks. There's no computers on them because we have plenty of computers already. But they're just there, like, if the older kids or the younger kids come in, and they want to do homework or just sit there. And I mean, if they bring their coffees from upstairs to go downstairs, that's totally fine too. I'm not upset. Again, I didn't play test this, so I'm not sure how the Sims are going to move around. But I mean, I got that out the way, so I thought that was nice. Now, the middle room, it's pretty large. I decided to make that a kid's room. 
for kids to come in case they didn't want to just read books. They're going to have, what are they putting there? I put like the little art tables there for them to draw on. I put a scientist chemist set for them to get some of their stuff. Um, what do you call it? Some of their logic up. I went on ahead and put a little medieval castle. I put some stuffed animals. I put some of the new yarnies <laughs> down at the bottom because I thought they were cute. I, of course, added kids' bookshelves just in case to have them there. And then I put, like, these cute little pillow things that came with, like, the toddler stuff just so they can have somewhere to sit and kind of hang out and talk and stuff like that. Now that I'm looking at it, I probably should have moved those tables aside a little bit because I don't know if the Sims are going to have a problem getting inside to sit down. But again, we'll figure it out. And I also put some desks so they can do their homework in there just in case they didn't want to go out into the middle. Kind of like so the kids can have their own section, you know, because I know kids go to libraries in the Sims game and stuff. So I just figured it was appropriate for the kids to have their own little spot to do what they want to do. And then the adults, of course, have the computer lab and stuff that they want to do. And then they have the cafe upstairs so that they can go in and get their coffees and snacks and stuff like that. So I feel like it worked out fine. Anyway, so right now I'm just trying to add a little bit more detail into the rooms, adding some plants, some wall decorations, which is something that usually takes me the longest to do because I never know what I want to put. I never know what's going to look right. <laughs> I guess that is the fun part with decorating. It's just sometimes I'm just like, what is this? And what is that? And it looked cute a minute ago. Now it doesn't. So I'm upset. So let me change it. But I like the color schemes that, I, that went with the rooms. I like how the children's room is yellow and bright and just cute. You know, pop of color, really pretty. I really like the trees that I put on the walls. I don't know why, but I use that in a lot of my... Um, personal builds like when I do for my sims kids rooms because I'm just like ah, I don't know they just look really nice and of course I just added some little decorations here and there for the computer lab room so like it would have something here we're in the main area like where you walk in where the fish tanks are and I was really trying to find out what the heck I was gonna do with those sharp corners because I for one do not like empty space Usually, if there's empty space in the house, I just put a plant. And the thing is, though, putting a single plant wasn't going to work because the space was huge. And then I remembered those from Eco Lifestyle. And I was like, huh. I was like, okay, well, that looks artsy and cool. Kind of like, um, what would you call them? Like when you're blocking part of an area, like, see, I can't even think of the name. Anyways, that's what I wanted to use. Kind of like a private area thing so I use those to kind of block the corners so the sims like they care but like you know so they wouldn't see them I feel like it came out really well I had a little bit of a hard time trying to come up with curtains for all the windows but I end up using just like the see-through like curtains that you get from I think it's parenthood is where they come from don't quote me on that I could be mistaken but for some reason they wouldn't really work in the other rooms with the skinny windows I don't know why like I could never move them just right just for them to get over like it was driving me nuts so i ended up using the wall hangings that's considered a wall decoration from city living i use those as curtains i've done that before in a build or two and i just thought that since i found the colors that matched it would work just fine so that's what i have those here anyway so now at this point i'm just trying to add some wall decorations and some plants and things at the bottom where the library is just so that's more there's more like i guess not really clutter but just like more decor in general because i didn't want to have a lot of empty space like that's something that drives me nuts and i just can't stand it and over here at this point <laughs> um <clears throat> I'm now getting some custom paintings, which is another thing I don't use very often in my builds, but I remembered them for this build, and I just kind of wanted to have something different. I really love those maps. I don't know why, but I felt like they would be appropriate for like a library setting. So I went on ahead and added them at the bottom, and then I'm going through here to check some more paintings because I know I end up finding some to use in the cafe area just so that, you know, I'm not always using the same paintings every time in my builds. I know nobody complains. I haven't heard anyone tell me, like, oh, my God, you use that painting all the time. Yeah, but I know that I use that painting all the time. So because I know I feel like I have to address it. So that's why I'm trying to expand my horizons. It's slow, but we're making progress. 
Anyhow, so we finally finished downstairs. It's time to work on the cafe. Now, I've never built a cafe. And when I went to see, like, exactly what I needed to have a cafe, there wasn't much of anything. Like, they really just had the coffee makers there. Uh, like, that, like, that's a whole section built together. Of course, you can have it separate and kind of use, like, your own counters, but I didn't want to do that. Um, so, really, all you need is that and some chairs <laughs> like tables and chairs and that's really it i was surprised i thought it was going to be more complicated which is funny because you would think if i went to the cafes in windenburg i would know what they look like i don't go there that often i should story-wise i'm trying to do it so my sims can meet you know other sims and be out there you know, in public, <laughs> but I normally don't. I still do the whole, like, going to a park, seeing all the other sibs, trying to find a girlfriend or boyfriend, and then just moving on from there. So, yeah, again, I'm trying to expand other horizons, especially when it comes to, like, my own gameplay and whatnot. Beforehand, if you guys didn't notice, I used the really tall fences from Eco Lifestyle. I changed them at the end because I didn't realize there were different heights. I'm not sure why. I think at this point I was already getting tired in my stream, so like I was kind of making little mistakes here and there. I do change those. They aren't there at the end because <laughs> I actually go back and look at the build, and I realize that it's sticking out of the building. <laughs> from like the rooftop and I'm like oh my god like how did I not notice this earlier this is awful so I realized and thankfully chat was like you know they come in different sizes I'm like no I wasn't aware why didn't y'all say something earlier before I had to fix this <laughs> ridiculous but anyway so I ended up changing that over at this point now I'm just going by making sure all my windows have curtains so everything looks fine I'm looking back over everything the fish tank finally have fish in it so I'm just kind of making sure the fish are in there because I went and I got a sim to do so now this is the last part it's the middle basically I wanted to put like a whole tree on top and it wasn't working out so I just add some bushes and stuff like that and that was it. The build is done. The build is totally finished. And I really like it. I think it came out really well. It looks really good. And again here, this is me fixing the railings because I made a mistake. Anyhow, so this video is about to come to an end. I stream on Twitch. Just so y'all know, if you guys want to catch me live, please go on ahead and check out, you know, my Twitch channel. Follow me so you guys can catch me. You know, talk to me. Chat my ear off. I love it. It's great. But anyways, I'll go on ahead and let you guys go, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!